What's going on guys? Biggs with Custom Offsets. Today we're doing another episode of a brand new series called Battle of the Gallery or for short Bot G. Today our contestants are Junior, terrible taste, and Rainy. I like his taste but I think Junior might have some tricks up his sleeve. But before we get started, if you guys need wheels, tires, suspension, or accessories, or even maybe some performance parts, I don't know. If you want your truck to go faster or sound cooler, do that. Do that. Go over to customoffsets.com and pick yourself up some stuff. For the first category, we are doing best 2015 newer half tons all right let's see their picks all right this was actually a hard one for me just because of the fact that there were so many dope like f250 specifically that kept showing up yep do you want to pull yours up and we'll start there and then go through mine so i went a different route than most people would probably expect um i went with a little more off-road really um, i looked at it as a daily oh so i picked an f-150 with you know like the car or the the fiberglass fenders the methods the 37s, the pre-runner bumper, um, Cody Lee Schlue's old F-150 broke me and wanted me to have a pre-runner really bad as a daily. So I looked at the half tons because the half tons are a great daily if you don't haul anything. So like going to work and stuff would be amazing in that. This is dope. So that was my, like, that was my idea for that one was like, I'm not a half ton person, but if I had to, it'd be a long travel setup. Yep. Trimming details, hammered the <laughs> out of my pinch welds. Love it. That's sick, okay. Mine, I went with, I was looking for the biggest, baddest, of course. And so I was just find something that was like super dope, super clean, and just kind of like matched everything I kind of wanted. Uh, went with Titty Deeps, uh, 2014, 15. Uh, 2015 Chevy, Chevy Silverado 1500. Uh, he's on specialties, 2616, 40s, 12 inches of lift. This is like complete opposite of what you went with. Yeah. Uh, this is, I'm sure he drives it like a daily, but this is not to the same level of your daily that you picked. Um, I don't know how the f you daily a 1500 on 40s. That thing's just gotta like not love life. <laughs> He's a baller, that's how. He's got like lift kits on top of lift kits on top of leveling kits. That's how you do it, dude. But yeah, so that's what I picked. I went with Titty Deep, he went with a Raptor. That's not a Raptor, it's an F-150. Raptors it's a wannabe lame. Raptor. I think it's we know the one here. Better than a Raptor. Are you gonna pick one? Who won? Hello? Do I rate him? Okay, back from the studio. I'm gonna go with Rainey's F-150 on this one because as Rainey said, dailying with 40s does not sound enjoyable whatsoever. I'm not discarding that Titty Deep's build is insane. I think I like his new truck better. I mean, and sure, the next one I'm going hey, up. Oh. Hey, I'm deciding here. But I went with Rainey's because I think when people put the time into turning an F-150 50 into a Raptor instead of just buying a Raptor is really cool and I think it would be enjoyable to daily something like that. Yeah, that's why I picked uh, yeah. Rings. All right, our next category to be rated by me is best non-big three truck. So that would include, you know, your Toyotas, your Nissans, and whatever else you may consider a non-big three like Chevy GM what? or Ram. I really wanted to pick a Cadillac just because it kind of fit but didn't fit but it, I felt like I was cheating too much. So I actually just ended up going with a uh, Range Rover? Yes, Range Rover. Uh, I'm, I don't even know what it has done to it. It's, okay, so it's got air suspension. It's like- With Johnson rod lift, but it's not lifted. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. Um, Dish the fenders. Yeah, literally just got rid of the fenders from bumper. He's on 22 by 12, 20 by 12, so 33s on this thing. Um, I'm assuming he's gonna like cut the rear and put a wide body on it or something, but I don't know how you drive it like that unless it just airs out on the tire and that's it. Yeah, I don't know. That's kind of confusing. I don't or, know. Or does it like, does he air it out onto the fenders and then air it up? And he airs up to drive and then this is like yeah. aired out. I don't know why you, uh, I don't know. When you add your truck to the gallery, make sure you add more than one photo. Yeah, and mm -hmm. his Instagram doesn't work either. Add your damn Instagram. I just thought it was kind of dope though. I don't know, it's different. It's not what you'd expect and you can't go big three and it's like, well, I'm gonna go way off the wall then, so. Yeah, so I kind of, so I, I did a little different. Mine's not nearly as crazy as yours in the off the wall aspect, but I did a Forerunner. Um, I don't know, I like Forerunners and Overlanding's pretty pretty dope. It's got the rooftop tent, it's got yep. the light bars, the snorkels, the KC LED lights. I don't know. I don't know. Um, um, Great, you know, if you're daily, you listen to the daily thing, I daily the balls out of that. 
Is this the daily episode or what? We could make it one. I don't. I'm gonna actually, lose every time. I don't think my next one's very daily. Oh, if, okay. But I would, you know, if I didn't like the big three and I didn't really need like a truck per se, I would never buy a Tundra because they're terrible on fuel economy. Um, but I would buy a Forerunner. Uh, yeah, and I thought it looks mean, it looks cool, and it looks useful. It's a pretty solid option. Yeah. Biggs, who is across the country, let me call him up and let him know that we're ready to rate the next one. Hey, uh, yeah, Biggs, uh, we're ready. Get your butthole in gear. Oh, back to the studio. But I think Junior wins this one. Let's go! I. This was a hard pick because, you know, I, I do like some, you know, overlanding, some off-road, some camping builds, maybe. All right, the next gallery, gallery ads we got here in the next category is best OBS Fords. And if you know already, I'm a big Ford guy and I'm a big OBS guy. So, pretty excited to see what they picked. So, OBS Fords are hard one because, like, right, like, I like you, Dooley. I've always liked OBS Fords. I'm a huge Crew Long fan, but also like, I just, I've always wanted an OBS Ford. I just haven't found one that like fits my requirements, but I've watched Waste, Wasted Wages build uh, since the drop shop built it. And I've fallen in love with it ever since. Ironically, you picked the same fucking one. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I have the same vehicle as Rainy. Right. So it's Wasted Wages. He's on 2616s, 44s, custom 12 inch, probably bigger than 12 inch lift actually. It's got like a like brushed metallic wrap on it, two tone. The thing is dope. It's super cool. Custom um, powdered Fittipaldi yeah. is like, it. this was a frame off truck to begin with. And it was like, nothing got missed. And I think that was my favorite part is just how like to a T this thing was built. Yep, it's beautiful, it's perfect. I love it. You know I love OBS Fords. I like OBS Fords too. So do we both win then? Rock, paper, scissors right now, please. On shoot? Sure. It wasn't on shoot. Whoa. What do you mean on shoot? Do it rock, on third paper, one. scissors, shoot. They can't even, we, we don't even know how to play rock, paper, scissors. Retry, best two out of three right now. On shoot? Sure. On shoot. That was two out of three. Okay. The winner, wait, who won? Oh, it's him. That's fine, I'll, I'll take my small, my small L. I'll I think the winner, after a long drawn out rock, paper, scissors, is Junior with the same truck build. And I, honestly, there's not a lot of OBSs that would, that would beat this one, because this one is- A1. Perfect. Steak cells. Literally perfect. All right, the next category that we have for you guys is the best 1975 or earlier trucks. So I, I picked the 64 K10 on 15 by 14 Bart Super Truckers and TSL Boggers. Uh, I've always liked like the, the small wheel, like obviously that tire is a little small for the truck, but like that style of like a throwback like mud drag style truck has always kind of like hit a weird spot that I've always wanted to tickle. And <laughs> that's the truck. <laughs> you like that? I don't know, something about that is like the, like the throwback to like the 80s and 90s yep. like truck builder. It's like, dude, I got this old truck that doesn't mean anything. Let's throw some boggers on it and some 14 wides and I don't know, do That's whatever sick. the f you want. It's like clean and simple, but like super old school at the same time. Yeah. Like it just, it resonates that. Mine's a little bit different. So I went with a 1966 uh, Ford Bronco chassis with a 1971 body with a 347 stroker swapped in with a AOD trans. Too much technical. You don't need to go technical, just look at it. I know, yeah. No, the thing's fucking beautiful. Someone spent way too much time and money. You see the license plate, oh, Helenor? Yeah. Does that have a Coyote in it or? Oh no, you said it. It's a 347. I was looking them up though and it looks like they're basically a drop in 500 horsepower kit kind of is what they are. It's fucking clean. I mean, like that's definitely one way to do a build. Yeah, a lot of money into a little truck. So, you know what the best part though is like, you know, like, okay, that costs a lot of money to build. You could still sell it for a shitload because yeah. like, they just hold that value and I fuck with it. Yep. And he's on like a three and a half inch suspension lift kit. He's got 17 by and a half fuels and then some 35 inch toil. So I like it because the, the fuel Anzas do match the paint job really well. And just like the all around like rugged, tough, yeah, yep. clean, like retro throwback on an old truck. I fuck with it. Yeah. That's tough. Mine's simple. Yours is extravagant. <laughs> I think I picked the winner of this one. I'm sorry, Rainy, again. I do like that, but I'm also not a Chevy guy, and 
Junior definitely searched the gallery for way too long because he found some crazy builds. I actually had a cheat code. Dustin Korth sent it to me and said, this thing's dope. You should use this for something. Okay. Don't help me. Okay. It's confirmed. Junior cheated. Rainy, you're now the winner. Oh. No! Cheating don't get you places, kids. <laughs> I'll take it. Okay. Easy dubs. The next category is going to be a tough one because none of them over there are that great. And it is the best car from the FI gallery. You <laughs> best car. Dude, you know what the worst part was? I almost picked either I couldn't I didn't find my S13 in the gallery, but I almost picked my Lexus. Um, you should have. No, because I knew we had way cooler stuff in the gallery. <laughs> is this thing even real? It is. If you Are you sure? Yeah, if you click on his Instagram, yeah. Oh, this, Instagram isn't real. This Just dude's kidding. built a couple like really rowdy vehicles. Dang, that photo literally looks like a render. Yes. And I was I found it and I was afraid it was a render. I was originally trying to find a C6 on CCW Classics. And then I found this on like page two or three and I was like, Jeez. that's it, that's the winner. All right, you wanna talk a little bit about it then? Yeah, it's got Evan, uh, SA3Rs, Toyo Proxies, definitely not stock suspension, but I would assume like a one of one wide body, a pretty much like an F40 style wing on the back. Crazy like throwback Miami Vice style paint job. I'll, all custom bodywork. I don't know, it's super dope, it's super one-off, or you'd never see that. You could go to shows all year and you'd only see that, you know, if he brought it, you would never see a replica of no. it. I like that it's got like a pinstripe on the side too. It's very like retro inspired. Like yeah. if you were to take today's like technology and style and put it on a vehicle, like if you were to time, time travel back then. Yeah, it's just, a, I know, it was like a off the wall one-off and like with having RHR ladies Corvette in my shop all winter, I was like, <laughs> that would doing be- doing dirty things to that thing. Right, dude. <laughs> That'd be cool. Uh, the one I went with was my car, uh, 2004 Infiniti G35. The uh, one that doesn't run? Oh, got him. <laughs> was, that a, was that a fork? I think by the looks of it, Randy got the win here. He didn't even need to, ch he didn't even have a challenge. Okay, as Junior interrupted me from a studio across the land, I think Rainy took the victory on here. Woo! Um, actually, I don't know. We'll have to tally it up and get the scores back to you. But that's all we have for today's episode of Battle of the Gallery. If you guys need wheels, tires, suspension, or accessories, or performance parts, go on over to customoffsets.com. And before we get out of here, if you guys like these, don't forget to subscribe because we're going to post more of these because they're dope. Comment down below what your favorite one was. Please. I don't know how people are going to sit and watch 15 minutes of you talking, but word.